the films is Sidney Lumet. Sidney Lumet's like my favorite director. I watched They Live right after Roddy Piper died. It holds up and is awesome. That's great. Man, we've been having a lot of deaths lately, huh? Bowie and Rickman. Glenn Fry, the Eagles died today. Today or something. Somewhere recent. Sometime recent. I think today. Pretty nuts, though. Yeah, but Lamette did uh, Serpico, which is fantastic. Network, which is great. Uh, Twelve Angry Men. Hey, what about me? I think yesterday, yeah. Someone mentioned it today at work, and I was like, what? Money over here. Get... No Country for Old Men. Pretty freaking awesome. Oh, you know, so mine... Well, no Country's... No, no Country's definitely, definitely, definitely solid. Yeah, Coen Brothers, man. Although my favorite Coen Brothers is, is, is Raising Arizona. That's just like the one. I know that they've done so much incredibly critically acclaimed work, but like for me, Raising Arizona is the one. I'm just like, I will watch that any time of day. Ever. But mine in the last... 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 Oh, now it's been 11 years, I think. Um... I don't know if you guys ever saw, and this is a, this is kind of a polarizing one. Not everyone feels the same way about this one. Uh, but uh, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. So, <laughs> talking about all this high raw, highbrow film stuff while I'm playing Conquer. I'm t guiding an anthropomorphic squirrel through a poop dungeon, a poop, a poop factory, a poop, a poop cave. <laughs> the Big Lebowski. Hard to beat that. Hard to beat the Big Lebowski. Yeah, man. But yeah, if you haven't seen Jesse James, I'd say give it a shot. I remember watching it, it but I mean, bear in mind, like, I remember seeing it, and I, uh, you know, the projector blinked off, and I turned to my wife, and I was like, that was perfect. And she was like, yeah, that was really good. And then I heard a guy in front of me go, that was pretty good. And then I heard a girl behind me say to her friend, that was the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. So, so, different strokes. Different folks. Different strokes rule the world. A poop cave. Thank you. Gosh, what the? Oh, eat my face for breakfast. All righty. Surely there's just something to be done. Thanks, Dark Link. Dark Link Duck! No chance your name is a reference to Dark Wing Duck. Nope, probably not, because I added the duck. Two of my ex-girlfriends straight up fell asleep in front of Monty Python's Holy Grail. Hence, ex-girlfriends, yeah? Because <laughs> that is... Yee. Yee. I mean, I don't like to be judgmental, but that's... Oh, my. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. What the nuts? <laughs> like his eyes go like slot machines when he... Okay, guys, I've got to do something here, right? Hence X. There you go. There you go. Can't blame them for that. Holy Grail is undoubtedly amazing. We certainly love it for everyone. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but for whom is it not? Right? I mean, it's fantastic. And I get that it's not for everyone. But that's kind of how you... You weed people out, right? You know, you go watch Monty Python. Uh, if you like it, come on over here. If you don't, just step off the edge of the boat and uh, just good luck. Hope you can swim. Oh, wait, come back here. I'm going to punch you in the face. Just really, once really hard. 
punch you once real hard for not liking Monty, uh, Monty Python. You deserve it. Boring business folk who don't like to laugh. I bet it's not for that type. For boring scrubs, that's who. Monty Python love! Wounded. No, it's only a scratch. Oh, well, I just got shot in the face with fecal matter. It's a Tuesday night. I didn't vote for you! You don't vote for kings. Look, if I went around saying I was king because some watery tart lord lugged a scimitar at me, they'd lock me up. They'd clap me in irons. <laughs> There's some moistened bink. <laughs> Goodness gracious, what did he say? Dude, no joke, I've been talking to a girl online and literally suggest yesterday suggested she watched Holy Grail just to see if she was worth the trouble. I completely understand why some people don't enjoy it. It's so off the wall and goofy, it just doesn't resonate with some people, especially the younger generation who are used to today's comedy scene. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, boy, I gotta, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch, watch it. Um... Yeah, no, I, I get, I, I totally get what you're saying, Pribula. Like, you're right. I mean, I think, and the thing is, what's, what's strange is that like everything builds so much on everything else that I think like, I mean, well, and here this might be contentious what I'm about to say, because like for me, The Simpsons is the best television show in the history of American television, um, and I think, I think most people can sort of. Most people can kind of agree, I think, that The Simpsons certainly paved the way for Family Guy, to, to put it lightly. Um, hot shots, baby. Hot shots. Them zuckers. Them zuckers. Oh, man, I watched Top Secret for the first time not too long ago. And it is, uh, I mean, I, you know, obviously, it's still... Naked Gun and, and Hot Shots are, are the ones for me. But, uh, Top Secret's got some great stuff in it. My gosh, those guys. I don't know who, I don't know how, like, no one, no one's doing that kind of humor. No one pulls that stuff off. Rest of the film is quite amazing and it baffles me that it was on TV. What do you mean it baffles you that it was on TV? Just because you don't, you, you're surprised that such a quality show got on television? But, uh, anyway, I, like I was saying, I, I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I totally get what you're, what you're saying, Pribble, and I think sometimes it's interesting because people go, you know, you might watch something inspired by Monty Python and then watch Monty Python. Oh, yeah, Mel Brooks, baby, baby. Spaceballs is the first time I ever got to... Spaceballs is responsible for my getting sent to the principal's office. Um, for the first time. First and only time, honestly. This is a pretty good kid. Um, uh... Um, <laughs> but I was saying, like, you could watch something heavily inspired, or inspired by, yeah, yeah, it's great, I agree. Hope you did the hell Scroob salute at someone. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that story in a second. But, I, but yeah, I was saying, like, like, sometimes when certain classics inspire other things, I mean, here's the analogy, like, um, gosh, I was whipping out all the controversial statements today, but Space Pulse was epic, made so much more sense after I saw the original trilogy of Star Wars again. Yeah, actually, I should go back and watch Space, Space Balls now. Just, well, I should just do it anyway. Where is it? It's up there. It's up there. Um, but sometimes you see something that is inspired by something else, and you see that one first. And it has taken what this one had and then kind of sometimes sort of like up the pace or kind of like gone a bit further. And then you go back. I'm surrounded by assholes. You go back. Uh, 
you go back to the original and you go, oh, it's no big deal. I just saw that. You know, I saw the other one, I'm, it's, it's not as good as this one. When it owes so much to this one. But, I mean, that's that's how it's supposed to be. And we're supposed to build on things. So, I don't know. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. So, I get it. I get why... I don't know. Like, I mean, comedy's so absurdist these days. And it owes so much to... There's stuff like Monty Python and, I mean, The Simpsons, everything. And people might be like, oh, I don't like, you know, the younger people might go like, I don't like that, I like this. You know, Simpsons is dated, Monty Python is dated and slow and weird. Whereas the creators of the shows they love probably grew up on those or probably count those among their favorites. I'm just saying. Talking about Mel Brooks, I love some of those movies like Life Stinks or History of the World. I don't think I ever saw Life Stinks. History of the World is great. History of the World has one of the best jokes I've ever seen in a movie. Uh, or one of the most just like... Which is the... Uh, oh, hey, Silky Silky Saru. How you doing? Massively holds up. Pop-up flying surface, Life of Brian once in a while. Yeah, Ma yeah, Monty Python is just... I mean, it's just a gold standard. Just, just... I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know how you get better. They're unbelievable. Unbelievable. The history of the world has, a uh, has the Oedipus joke. It's just the best joke in the world. Where, uh, Josephus, what, they're walking through ancient Greece, I guess, and Oedipus is sitting there, stand effects like Eddie Ezra, who got clearly influenced, influenced by them, definitely. And then there's like, golly! Like, Douglas Adams, I, you know, like, I think did some radio shows with Monty Python. You know, the guy who did Hitchhikers. Hitchhikers is basically sci-fi Monty Python. I mean, for crying out loud. <clears throat> um, I'm your father's brother's cousin's nephew's former roommate. Oh my gosh, that movie. That movie. But, um, what the heck was I going to say a million times ago? Oh, the Oedipus joke. The Oedipus joke. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Oedipus joke? They're walking and there's the blind Oedipus beggar. He's going, give to Oedipus, give to Oedipus. And they walk by and, uh... <laughs> and Oedipus... <laughs> Oedipus goes, hey, Josephus. And Josephus goes, hey, motherfucker, <laughs> which is the best thing ever. Everyone gets ten coins. And Terry Pratchett's Discworld is basically fantasy Monty Python. Totally. I definitely need to... Yeah, edip it's exactly right. So he says, it's just the it's just the most... It's the best... It's one of the best throwaway jokes ever. You know, Oedipus, obviously... You guys know the Oedipus. He blinded himself. When the uh, <clears throat> prophecy came true, he slept with his mother and... He married his mother and killed his father. So he's sitting there blind in the movie. He's like begging. Give to Oedipus. And uh, Josephus walks by. He goes, hey, Josephus. And Josephus goes, hey, motherfucker. Which is great. It's great. Fantastic. Everyone gets 10 coins. We have, we have, guys, thanks to Darklink, we have a currency system. We could, we could break off and form our own union. What do you say? You want to secede? Maybe, maybe we won't secede if I can't get to the poo boss. And the funky town music plays. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oedipus was the first man. <laughs> that's true. He's becoming... I was having the first time I ever heard... It. Ah! No. I gotta not... I can't get fired, man. I can't get fired. You know, not that anyone, not that they go trolling Twitch. Hey, what about me? Believe me, and I this I know it kind of sucks. It sucks that I'm not like because I have seriously, honestly, I have the worst mouth in the world. I know that sounds ridiculous because I haven't been. But yeah, and any of this, anything that any that is searchable on the internet, I I feel like I have to kind of keep it whatever because teachers get fired for all sorts of stuff, man. <laughs> they do. Why was Oedipus so adverse to swearing? Is this a joke? Uh, it's still a work in progress. I'm monitoring it. Oh, that's awesome. 